Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Madison. Welcome back to another daily vlog. I thought I would start us off. It's a new week. It's currently Monday. It's the last day of February, which is so crazy that it's almost March. I literally cannot believe it. But you can tell it's almost spring because the forecast has, it's supposed to be in the 60s today and like the rest of this week. But it's like that weird time of year again where it's super cold in the morning and then it's gonna be like really warm in the afternoon. So it's like 30 degrees out right now. So I got myself actually a hot latte this morning because I was like not wanting to be carrying in an ice cold latte. Though I do usually get iced lattes even when it's cold outside, but decided to be smart today and get it hot. And this week, it's gonna be a crazy week because it's parent teacher conferences week so we don't have them today we start tomorrow so we have them on Tuesday and Thursday from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. so I have to stay after school um, I think I already have like 10 parents signed up so I have like seven more to go um, so that's what I'm gonna be working on today like getting all my parents signed up and everything but I will take you guys along with me through all of that currently stalling in my car but I need to go in but just got a hot vanilla latte this morning it's so good all right, I'll see you inside. It's been actually a few hours. It's later in the day. It's just been a Monday, so I haven't had a lot of time to pull my camera out, but this is the outfit of the day. We're in just a comfy cardigan, tank top with my favorite joggers. These are from Amazon. They're always linked over on my Instagram if you don't follow me there. Converse as always, and I actually curled my hair yesterday. First time in a long time, and I really like how it turns out. Every time I do it, I don't know why I don't do it more, but yeah. All right, so I'm currently on my plan period and I have a lot to do. So like I said, conferences are this week, um, tomorrow and Thursday. This is kind of where I keep like my, I don't know what I would call it, like my finished work bin, like grade, graded papers. Um, and so I've been collecting a lot of papers, just like a lot of data over the past week or two um, to show parents at conferences. So my goal for today and tomorrow is to organize all of them into their parent teacher conference folders and so basically what I do is I just make sure I have data for every subject to show them so math reading writing um, and maybe something that we're doing like science or health um, that way along with the report card like oh this is their grade in math because this and I show them their math work so I have their folders. I just use their Friday folders as their conference folders. It has their name on it. It's easy. And then I just have a bunch of their graded and finished work. So I go through and organize it into piles and then I put them in the folders. So I'm about to do those folders very soon. But first, I'm going to finish eating my lunch. <laughs> Today we had lunch buddy day where I pick five friends to come join me at lunch and I just picked one winner a day throughout the week but last week we had a snow day and a two-hour delay on Friday so we just didn't have time for it but today we had our lunch buddy lunch where they just come in we watch Spongebob that's like the tradition we all just hang out so I didn't really get to finish so I'm going to finish eating my lunch and I'm actually taking or completing one of my Skillshare classes right now I like to do it just in my free time and if you guys aren't familiar with Skillshare it's an online learning platform with thousands of online creative and inspiring classes and those classes can range from really specific maybe skills that you want to learn from like drawing and painting and photography or video editing or they can be a lot more broad um, it might just be a place that you go to find something that you want to learn maybe not necessarily going on there for a specific skill and that's what I love about it you guys know I've been taking Skillshare classes for months and months and months and I always talk about it on this channel because I truly love Skillshare and that's the only reason why I would share it with you guys. Last month I started a class by Emma Gannon and the great thing about it is that you can take these classes at your own pace so if you want to finish them in a day you can finish it in a day. If you want to take it over a course of like a month or two that's fine. You can take it at your own pace. They add new premium content every single week so there's literally something for everybody to find for themselves to learn on there. They are ad-free, which is really nice. Their entire catalog is now available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. And since I am partnering with Skillshare on today's video, they're offering the most amazing deal. They're offering the first 1,000 people to click the link down in my description box, one month free of Skillshare, which is just so awesome. That's a whole month to just explore any new talents or your creative side, find something that sparks your interest. A month gives you a really long time, so you have plenty of time to try out even more 
more than one class if you want to. Um, I just could not recommend it more. I love it. I just think it's the best platform. Personally, I use it just because it really sparks that creative side of me and I love watching people that inspire me. You guys know this. That's why I love YouTube because I just love listening to people that are passionate about things that they love and people that are knowledgeable on a topic. It just really inspires me to be like my best self and to chase after my own dreams and pursue my own creative goals and stuff like that. So I just think it's like the most inspiring platform and I know you guys would love it too. So 1,000 of you can get a free month if you click the link in my description box below. Okay, it's a little while later. I'm almost pretty much done eating my lunch and everything. Um, so now I'm just going to try to tackle all of my folders. Faced I wasn't even close to my pretty much ready I still have a couple more things I'm gonna add to them because we're doing some narrative writing today and we did a reading assignment that I need to add today um, oh also in math today we did a really fun activity with our counting blocks I love getting out manipulative manipulatives anytime that I can because they love them and we are practicing our number change stories so starting with a number adding or subtracting something to it and what is the number that you end off with and they use the blocks to help them so that was kind of an activity that I had to differentiate a lot because I had some students that doing five plus six is way too easy for them so I told them to roll two or three dice so that they would have like 15 plus 12 as their problem um, but then I had some kiddos who I had to pull to the back table and we had to practice just like our single digit adding and they would use the blocks as their manipulatives so they would put five blocks and then add six more and show me that they could use those blocks to add. Um, I have a couple kiddos who I had them work together who are like really advanced and I had them working on their like triple digit addition because they're so far advanced they do not need blocks to count anymore. They are like third, fourth grade level already. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of an example of like how you differentiate with some kids because not everyone needs to practice their single digit addition or even double digit addition. So um, we did that this morning, which is a really fun, really engaging activity. And then for reading today, to take a test so I've talked about foundations before is our phonics curriculum so we had to take our unit at 10 tests today and they actually did really really well um, they're getting so much better at taking tests you guys oh my gosh at the beginning of the year it was like trying to herd a bunch of monkeys to take a test they had not sat still in a chair for that long in years if ever because this is pretty much their first normal school year and so literally they did not know how to sit still they did not know how to focus on one task and they just wanted to talk the whole time so I had to be like really really strict about warnings and if you're talking I take your test um so thinking back to like back in September when it was so hard for them to take a test to now they know the rules they sit down they get quiet and they have their eye on their own paper and it's just like they've come such a long way so I always remind myself that whenever I'm getting frustrated throughout the day I'm like they've actually come such a long way they're just they're still kids you know so we took a test today and that's what I need to grade right now and then add that to their folders because I really want to have this to show their parents tomorrow. Now I don't need to do all this right now. I mean conferences are tomorrow and all the way until Thursday so I could do a little bit each day but since I have a half hour plan period I'm just going to utilize that time just to get it done so I don't even have to think about it tomorrow. Um, I'll still have some things that I need to prepare for conferences tomorrow like I want to send home some um, conference time reminders with some of the kiddos. I need to just kind of like get my classroom 
bathroom ready and just get like my sign-in sheets ready and all that stuff and then I need to make sure I have the correct students like folders ready to go I line them up and like order up who comes at what time and then I do have a couple conferences that are on zoom so I need to prepare for that by sending out some zoom links I need to send out some reminder emails I also need to send two texts to parents that haven't replied to the google form that I sent out so there's just like a lot going on because I need to make sure all parents know because I always have like three or four parents that forget or just don't show up because they say they forget and so I'm trying to be good about reminding them gotta grade this and then put these in their folders even though you wouldn't do the same had this conversation more than ten times after nine I still wish you Everybody. it is actually the next day so it's currently Tuesday I just had a super busy day yesterday um, and then I didn't end up vlogging much after school because um, yesterday was Kyle's last day in town he has a bunch of stuff to do in st. Louis so he'll be there the rest of the week so I just wanted to like soak up that time with him it was also so nice outside yesterday so we took Nala to the dog park and it was like almost 70 degrees today it's supposed to be super warm and tomorrow I'm so happy although I'll be stuck inside all day because we have conferences and so I will be here literally until 6 p.m. so that's great <laughs> but I am pretty much all prepared for my conferences my kids are at specials right now so we only have about like two hours left of school but then my conferences start literally right away my first conference is at 3 p.m. and we get the buses loaded and stuff like that at 2 45 so I have to hurry back here my first conference is on zoom which will be nice so I don't have anyone that I'm like gonna be like waiting on to come in my classroom so I can just log on to zoom whenever I get back and yeah once I have time <laughs> I'll sit down and like kind of show you guys like everything that I have prepared for conferences and all of that um, and then I'll like check in with you guys as the day and night goes on and just like update you on how conferences are going but I'm excited I have let's see how many I have nine conferences scheduled for tonight and then I have four possibly five scheduled for Thursday I'm waiting on a few replies um, from parents that needed to reschedule, so hopefully I can get those scheduled for this week. Um, our school aims for 100% attendance, but obviously that just doesn't always happen whenever parents, sorry, I'm starting at my computer. Um, that doesn't always happen because sometimes parents, it's just like really hard to get a hold of them. Um, you guys know if you're a teacher, it's just sometimes a whole struggle. So that's that I have about 15 minutes left of my break I'm gonna finish eating um, the rest of my lunch and finish replying to some emails and like I said I'm pretty much ready for parent teacher conferences like I have my stack of folders all ready to go in order of who's coming first um, in the order of my conference schedule and yeah I'm feeling good I'm excited for conferences I'm excited to see the parents um, if you guys watched my fall one I was like not in a good mindset to be like chatting with 10 people in a row at nighttime after school which I remember now we had a really bad week of school that week and I was like already struggling so much just like keeping it together during the day so having to stay after school and like meet the parents of the kids that were driving me crazy all day I was like not having it um but this week has gone so well and I've just like been having the best time here at school with my kids and I just love them and we just had so many good lessons today you guys oh my gosh we did some really fun um math lessons today and they just are like really getting the hang of it and then we did a fun reading game where they got to get in partners and they played like a little board game and did their um vow teams and stuff like that and it was just I don't know it's just been like a really good day it's been a really good week so far so I think I'm in a much better mindset <laughs> this time around for conferences 
this because I'm not like extremely stressed out and emotionally tired for conferences. I'm in a good mood and positive spirits and I am also excited just to share like how far these kids have come with their parents because when I met them back in the fall, it was still like early on in the school year. So now that we're coming towards the end of the school year, obviously they've all made so much progress. And the special thing about teaching second grade is that second graders, I mean, it's like one of the most pivotal, pivotal years of their entire like education career, I would say, because in kindergarten, first grade, they're learning like the foundations. Um, obviously those are really important too, but they're, they're learning the foundations and they're kind of just learning like how to be a good student like how to be a normal human in a classroom and second grade is where they should they should know how to act in the classroom and now it's time to like really dive in like let's learn how to read how to write let's learn the basic math skills that you will carry with you through your entire career you know so second grade is just a huge huge year and they learn so much and not only that but they come so far just independence wise from the beginning of the year it was a lot of hand holding a lot of crying a lot of tantrums i honestly felt like a kindergarten teacher at the beginning of the year it was pretty rough but now oh my gosh they've come so far i mean we hardly ever have tantrums or like breakdowns anymore barely any crying honestly anymore not that crying is bad and i understand they're still babies they're still kids it's you know okay for them to get upset about things but they've just learned how to handle their emotions so much better they don't cry over tiny little things you know and they just have learned how to handle problems and kind of be just a problem solver be more independent not go like crying to the teacher over every problem um, which is just a huge huge skill that they learn in elementary school you know that's where they're learning to be problem solvers and be more independent so that's just one of the great things about teaching second grade is you really get to see a lot of growth so i love getting to meet with the parents at this stage so i can be like look at the work from the beginning of the year and now look at their work and look at this like crazy transformation like they can read now <laughs> they can actually write sentences now they can do hard math like double digit addition and subtraction whereas the beginning of the year we're literally just getting down our basic like two plus five you know like basic addition and just learning like what a number line is and now they can add and subtract on a number line so anyway i'm ranting like i could go on forever it's just like the best part i think about teaching and about teaching second grade specifically so yeah i just love my job if you can't tell it's just the best and it's just gonna be so nice to be able to like share all that with the parents tonight so I will catch up with you guys later. <laughs> okay, checking in real quick. My door is open, so I don't want to talk too loud. I just had my first conference. It went so well. Honestly, it was probably my easiest one I'll have all week, though, because it's one of my easiest students. Um, but I just wanted to talk real quick about what was in my folders. Um, I know I mentioned it a little bit yesterday, but basically, I don't want to show any information. So um, let me show you the bottom of this. We have our grade report, which looks something like this. Obviously not gonna like go into detail about it, but basically we grade them on if they are kind of like at expectation or exceeding expectation or below expectation. And then there's also an option to do like no evidence of work. So if it's a student that just like refuses to work in class or doesn't get their work done, doesn't turn it in, there's an option to put like no evidence, like NA basically on that portion or that subject. And then we also grade them, we call it success ready. So we grade them on their behavior in the classroom, um, on a scale of zero to four based on how they interact with peers interact with adults and then their work ethic in the classroom just how do they work in the classroom how do they get along with others and then i'll show you kind of right here it's kind of a lot honestly but we just grade them on science social studies and then they also get graded in specials so for pe music art all of that they also get graded on that and i let them take this home so this is for them to keep because i'm not going to go over every single you know like sub subject <laughs> within the subject because that would just take hours and we have 20 minutes to talk and parents usually like to ask a lot of questions and they're very chatty so i usually like to go through that pretty quick and just kind of send it home with them so if they have any questions they can look at it and ask me later and then on the back page there's a place for comments so whenever we enter grades we're also required to enter a comment section where we basically comment on how they're doing in class behaviorally and then what they're 
advancing in or struggling in in a certain content or subject areas and then I always just note like what we're learning so in math we're doing this that way I can just pull that comment card out when they're here and I don't like stumble over my words because I basically just read straight from the comment card and let them know what we're learning in math reading and writing what they're doing well in what we're working on and I always end on a positive note on something that they're doing great on in class whether that's academically or behaviorally and then the rest of it is just um, different assessments that we've done in class a lot of reading and like phonics because that's what second grade is about and then a little bit of math and writing that I show them just examples of their work and then a few other maybe like you know examples of work thrown in there just so they can take it home and look at it although I always send home examples of work every single Friday in their Friday folder but this week we just are going to actually sit down and talk about it I know that's a lot but I know a lot of you guys have parent teacher conferences coming up in the next week or two so that's what I do let me know what you guys do for conferences if you have them comment down below Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter it's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best and say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run Don't say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one so all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah. Promise I won't forget. Yeah. Alright guys, I am so exhausted. It's going on six o'clock and I am done for the day. Well, I actually just tried to do my six o'clock conference and she didn't pick up whenever I called. Um so I'm waiting a few extra minutes just to see if they call back, but if not and I'm heading out and you guys will be so proud of me because they had a baked potato party like a whole buffet in the conference room and I did not go get a single baked potato because I'm trying to eat healthier so I ate my chicken and rice and my banana and here all by myself <laughs> and I'm proud of myself because baked potatoes sound so good right now but I didn't do it um so yeah that's that that's a wrap on day one of conferences they went really well um very all of them like very positive great interactions great conversation with the parents um as you saw i just had my zoom conference of the day my other one got canceled last minute um but i do have another one on thursday i had another conference um reschedule for thursday last minute and then i just had this conference not answer so i guess i'm waiting to hear back from them so that always happens always have a few that like either cancel last minute or don't show up and have to get rescheduled so that always happens but anyway check it out and tomorrow we don't have conferences tomorrow's wednesday so we don't have conferences um on wednesday which will be nice and then thursday we'll get back at it and i think i have three no four conferences on Thursday so far but hopefully I can get this one rescheduled as well and yeah going well so far very happy and I'll check in with you guys on Thursday hello everybody it is now Thursday and guys I did not pick up the camera once yesterday. I knew I wasn't gonna put it in this vlog. I had this whole idea of vlogging yesterday um, for another video. Yesterday was a nightmare. <laughs> I do not know what happened. The thing is with teaching, it's like so crazy. So much can affect the environment in your classroom. And we've had a few kids absent earlier in the week, which I think just them being absent might have made our classroom environment like a little bit a little bit more mellow and then yesterday we had a full class like all kids here which i think that was the first time in a long time we've had like 100 percent attendance so it was just like super chaotic and i 
if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know. I said it was probably one of the longest days in my entire teaching career. I don't know what was going on, but it was just the longest day and I left so frustrated and I left just like in the worst mood and oh my gosh, I was just exhausted. Like I wanted to go home and sleep so bad, but I knew that wouldn't make me feel much better. So I went and got my nails done. Got these cute little white nails, almond shape. I love white nails. I don't know why I don't do it more often because it's probably like my favorite nail color to have. But anyway, went and got my nails done and then I went to the, we have um, motion sensor lights. Anyway, went to get my nails done and then I went to the gym, which I'm so glad I did because sometimes when you have a bad day, it's really hard to go to the gym, but I felt so much better just going to the gym and sweating it out. Like when I left, I was in the best mood. Um, wearing the cutest outfit today. This sweater is from Teacher Style Box. I got it in up a size. Like I like my sweaters nice and oversized. And then I'm wearing these cute jeans, just like dark wash jeans i had heard a lot about good american jeans and i always have wanted to order from them but they're super expensive but on president's day they had a big sale i think it was like 50 percent off your first pair and so i got these for a nice discount and i really like the fit it's really hard to order jeans online so i was half expecting them not to fit and i'd have to return them but they fit and they fit perfectly like a glove so I think I'm gonna order more jeans from good American because lately I always order my jeans from Abercrombie but lately Abercrombie has not been on it I don't know what it is maybe it's me I just I feel like I'm in between their sizes I'm not a four but I'm not a six I feel like I'm like a five like fours are just like a little bit too tight they fit but I feel like when I sit they're just like oh, the waist is so tight um, but the sixes they're too baggy so I need like a five. <laughs> I'm in between their sizes. So I ordered a size six in the good American jeans and they fit like a glove, like so, so perfectly. Um, so I think I'm gonna start ordering from there because they're just such good quality too. They are more pricey, but I need good quality jeans in my life. Anyway, it's Thursday. It is our last day of parent teacher conferences. I have five scheduled for today and two phone calls scheduled um five in person um but i am leaving school at 5 p.m and i'm going to drive home to st louis today because we have a three-day weekend and kyle and i have some plans with friends if you didn't know kyle and i my boyfriend and i we are both from st louis missouri and so our family and friends all live there and so we drive there like every other weekend um so we have some parties to go to this weekend to visit some friends some birthday parties just like chill stuff but we really wanted to go so we are both going to st louis this weekend um which it's a good hour and a half drive from columbia but i didn't want to get home too late so i'm really glad my last in-person conference is going to get out at five and then i have two phone calls which i thought i could just do in the car just talking to the parents because phone calls are usually like pretty chill and then i'll just send home their folder um with their kid to look at over the weekend um so yeah that's kind of the plan my first conference is at three so right as the bell rings and we drop the kiddos off i'm going to hop on that conference um the first one is on zoom i forgot the first one is on zoom and then i'll have back-to-back -back conferences until five and then we're done we're out of here and yeah i'm really glad we did not have conferences yesterday because i would not have made it yesterday was the longest day ever um i was not in a good mood so i would not have wanted to meet with parents at the end of yesterday but i don't know what it is we i think we have a full class we're missing one student today but today has gone so much better we had a long conversation um but today has gone a lot better than yesterday so as you can tell i'm in a pretty good mood also i got starbucks this morning i already drank it all it's in the trash but i tried the toasted vanilla oat milk espresso it was really good really really good and i got it half calf which someone messaged me on instagram and asked me if the half calf if I notice any difference drinking half calf versus regular caffeinated, and I do. I am way less jittery throughout the day whenever I drink half calf. Like, 
way less. And I noticed when I drink full caffeine, I am very like on edge throughout the day, just like super stimulated and I have no appetite when I drink a full caffeine from Starbucks, only from Starbucks because I think they're the way they brew it, it's like way stronger. I can't eat during the day because coffee, it's like an appetite suppressant, but their caffeine really, like I literally cannot eat anything. So I notice when I drink half-calf, I'm still hungry by lunchtime, so I eat still. Um, but yeah, those are just like some of the differences that I notice, but yeah, so that coffee was really good. Put me in a good mood this morning. It's nice again outside, nice and sunny. It was in the 70s yesterday, guys. It was like 78 degrees yesterday. It was so crazy when we dropped all the kids off at the buses, like all the teachers in the building were outside just like chatting. We we're all in such good moods. And it's just so telling of like, how weather can so badly impact your mood. And I feel like we've all just like been in this like negative rut lately with it being so cold out the past few months. And the second that the sun comes out, we're all like outside in the best mood and giggling and talking and chatting. And I just look like, think that's so funny. And it affects the kids just as much as it affects the adults affected by it. I have really bad like seasonal depression I feel like I wouldn't call it depression it's kind of dramatic but I get seasonally sad <laughs> like when it's winter time and it's cold and it's dark I am so obviously not in as good of a mood as I am in the summertime I thrive in the summertime when it's sunny and warm summer is just my favorite time of the year always 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 so I'm so happy for it to start getting warmer out and today is kind of like our Friday since we don't have school tomorrow and so like I said, we have a three day week, which will be really nice. And yeah, it's currently 1237. I got to pick my kids up at 1240 from specials, got a few minutes. And then we have a couple hours left of our school day, but we're keeping it really chill. We're gonna do a read aloud. We are going to do some silent reading. They're gonna get some snack time, iPad time at the end of the day, um, super chill day. And then conferences will start. So I will try to find a time to check in with you guys later during conferences. Hey guys. <laughs> It is obviously the next day. I am no longer at school. I'm in bed. I'm in St. Louis and I don't know what happened. I totally blanked. I spaced and I forgot to finish the vlog yesterday. Um, basically what happened was I had like three or four, no, three more um, conferences after we talked. And then after that, I left, drove home to St. Louis. On my way to St. Louis though, I had three phone call conferences. So it actually helped the drive go by like really fast because I had three conferences and each one took like 15, 20 minutes. So the drive went by really fast and I just totally forgot to even pick up my camera since I was so focused on like finishing those conferences. Um, and then I met my family for dinner and stuff like that. So this is me finishing up the vlog, letting you guys know that conferences went really well. I have two more today, so I am in the midst of editing this video, and then I'm going to hop on for a conference in like 15 minutes, and then I have a second conference after that at 10 o'clock. Um, yeah, and then I'm done, like done with conferences. I have two or three parents that either canceled or did not schedule a conference with me so I will try to reschedule at least like a phone call conference with them but it's usually if they don't show up the first time it's hard to get them to reschedule so we'll see about that but I'm pretty much done with conferences and I feel really good about it they went really well and I'm just happy this was like a really good time for me to get to talk to parents and um overall like every interaction was super positive so just ending it off on that note. I hope you guys enjoyed this week of conferences vlog and got something from it if you're a teacher and if you are going into conferences in the next week or two or if you already had conferences, um, let me know down below if you already had conferences and how they went. Um, if not, let me know when your conferences are and kind of like what your plan is for it and how you go about conferences. I'd love to know. So. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.